Hello guys and welcome to Yarelina's Super Nursery. Today I have to update you in a lot of things and let me tell you that I have been keeping some secrets from you. So um, I'm going to bring Kellen and I'm going to sit down and chat with you a little bit of why I have been so Mia in this couple of months and I'm going to reveal you one of my secrets but the other one needs to wait so stay tuned. First let me show you because I cannot resist. Look at this guy. I just dress him like this for you guys because he has been on PJs in these cold days of winter. But he's looking so awesome. I love these shoes. Um, they're unisex. I use them for journey. I use them for him. And it just looks cute and amazing. So I'm going to hold him for a while with you and chat a little bit and maybe we can change him together. Well guys, here's Kellen and he's absolutely adorable. I am super in love with this baby still. Um, I think when I want to cuddle a baby, he's the one, he's the one he's super soft and i was thinking on you know my babies and the softness and he's the softest um baby i think josie the little one that i have a mini silicone she's very soft i think she's softer than him but from my bigger babies newborn zero to three he's the softest even more soft than journey in and he's just melt my heart and he melts into my arms it's very cute so guys um a little update <laughs> i'm going to show you please um be patient with me i've been out of youtube i don't know how many weeks that have been lost and it's a shame because i love youtube i love to be in social media and also and also to see my um favorite channels um videos and i have been watching a little bit of youtube um here and there but nothing like wow <laughs> like i was before watching every single video just released and i was looking at the video right now um i have a couple of rough weeks and i was not feeling making videos and this was the the first reason i was not recording but after that um i received a baby so um there is a new baby in the nursery that i haven't shared um the box opening was not nothing fancy so i decided you know i maybe do a blanket reveal um so um, i have to present her is a her and for you to see her but also i wanted to um say that's the first secret um i was not showing her even not in instagram or facebook i haven't showed her just my close friends know who is it and it's a baby from an artist that i really really liked and i was tempted for a while and hopefully you know hoping to have one of hers um and she's a second hand baby but it's precious you will see um so that was the first secret that i have that i have a new baby that i haven't shared that i'm going to share today and the other secret you have to wait <laughs> it's a very very nice um thing that I, is consuming me a lot of time and i don't have time not even for myself not even for sleep, but I'm working very hard to get that. So as soon as everything is like for sure that is going to be, I will share a little bit. And it's a very, very, very big surprise. And it's something that I was expecting and something like that to happen, but it never happened. But I'm very, very glad and happy that it, you know, finally is going to happen. But uh, you will see, has to be a little bit with my dolls, has to be a little bit with my painting, 
um but it's not a new doll <laughs> so it's not a new doll it's not that i'm painting silicone so stop stop guessing what is it i'm going to tell you as soon as i can share um for now let me show you the new baby that i was telling you um she is very different from what i am collecting currently and she's the first baby that i have like she's one of her <laughs> own kind so let me show you because i'm very excited i want to sh change her too because she's in an outfit because it was very uh sunny but today is raining a lot so i may change her with you guys for you to see her complexion and her body and all that so let's let's change her okay guys so here she is she's my new girl she's a toddler not toddler exactly but a bigger baby and she's the first big baby that i have in my nursery she's vinyl she's the raya sculpt by ping lao i love a lot of ping lao um sculpts but she's my favorite <laughs> face um and i was uh in love with one of the prototypes but you know that i'm a black baby collector <laughs> so as soon as i saw her i just fall in love with her i saw her on reborns when i was uh, selling jolina i was on reborns a lot because of the thing of selling jolina and all that and after you know i saw her i was looking at the artist pictures she was painted by um elvira and vladimir and this is an artist that i really was in love with the work because they they do a lot of toddlers um so i was like oh my gosh i want a baby from them you know but it was something that i really wanted but i was not trying to buy anything <laughs> i was trying to sell jolina because i have things to pay off so I was not expecting to buy another baby, not not even a vinyl. Um, but it happened and the mommy was very, very um, gentle and very, you know, very helpful and not pressuring at all. But I was so in love with her. And Elvira and Vladimir have um, another baby that I really like that is the Meili sculpt. And I was between the Meili and this one, you know, the Meili from the artist and this one that's a secondhand um, baby. But Raya's face is just outstanding. I really love her. Um, she's a very sweet baby. And those eyebrows and those eyelashes are just, just guys, you need to see this. <laughs> she's just so pretty. She has the prettiest, the prettiest face. I love her. And my mom doesn't like her. As always, she has something to say. <laughs> but she is, um, you will see, because I'm going to change her. My friends have seen her in this outfit, but you guys don't. So I'm going to put her in this Winnie the Pooh knitted romper. It's like a romper, right? It's open. Um, With this shirt. It's like a burgundy, it's not burgundy, but it's a dusty rose, something like that. <laughs> You're better than me with the colors. So as you will see her, her, you know, she's um, nice to put on clothing because she has this extra, right? But at the same time, she's cloth, you will see. And when I uh, bring her home, um, she was not waiting anything, but I didn't want to mess with her complexion and all that. So I just reweighed uh, her limbs and not her body because she has some stitch here. So, but she has a nice weight now because of the limbs that are weighted. But she's a vinyl, cloth body, toddler size. I think she's 20 something, 20. I'm going to put that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to put that in the um, in the screen because I, I didn't remember. I don't remember. But she is a cutie pie. Her hair looks curly. But if you um, 
wet the hair is very nice to come is very easy to manage i was a little bit nervous because of that because me as a rooter <laughs> i know there is some kinky hair out there that is people saying that is um curly hair but it's kinky hair so i was a little bit nervous but as soon as you know the mommy told me it was very soft and very easy to manage and all that and it's true was completely true everything that she told me that seller was very helpful and i think i shouldn't put that no let me put it right here <laughs> it's a little bit tricky i don't used to dress big babies but she's very cute guys i really really love her I think she's very sweet and she's, you know, I love to hold, hold her like this. So look at her. She looks so real. She has a very realistic face. I think my favorite part of all her is her face, even though I love the hair and I really love the way she painted um, the feet and the, the way she painted the hands and the nails and all that my favorite part of all her is her face her hair give her a lot of character but she has very nice um the way she the transition between colors i really liked it and i'm an artist and i know that is not something easy to achieve so I really love her. I really like her. She's one of my um, favorite babies to dress. It's very easy to find clothing for her. It's not like with newborn size. It's a little bit trickier. But I have noticed that um, her size varies depending on the clothing. For example, um, this is a uh, six to nine months. And I bought her something that is like was very skinny very very tight on her it was two, 12 months so it really depends of the brand and the material and all that it's not like when you buy zero to three is zero to three or newborn is newborn this is something that varies a lot that's what i noticed so i'm a little bit more scared to buy online for her because it's just more tricky sometimes she fits zero to three believe it or not sometimes it's six to nine like this one and sometimes it's up to 12 months and more sometimes it's uh, if it's very um it's a material that is uh stretchy and all that can be very very fit to her so it can be sometimes 2t the feet, you know, the, the, the pants, and the top can be 12 months, something like that. So for you to get an idea, it's a little bit trickier to dress her <laughs> in some kind of way. Uh, it's something that I, I look at the piece and I see if she can fit it or not, and it doesn't depend on the size. Like with Journey, I always buy zero to three, and it's going to fit her a little bit tighter or a little bit um, more loose. But the thing is going to feed her, but with her, it's not the same. So she's my new baby, guys. It's not a baby. It's a bigger girl. And I love to dress her, put her so pretty, and put her in my bed. Because when I enter, I see those bright open eyes looking at me. And it's just amazing, guys. Um, also, she's my first open eye. Not, yeah, see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, she's my first open eye baby. I think I haven't had an open eye baby. So she's unique in both ways, you know, the size and um, she is an open eye baby. So this is the, my first secret. Um, guys, the other secret have, have me thinking because um, this is a hobby. These dolls, I enjoy them, I love them. But at the same time, there is a lot of things that I want to do and sometimes I want to do it so quickly that i think on who baby i want to part with because i need to do this i need to do that and i have a lot into my plate right now but guys <laughs> my niece was suggesting 
me to sell her and you know don't don't sell your all the babies just sell her i was like no i don't want to part with any of my babies with any guys i have been struggling with that so i decided to slow down to take it easy and to you know do all what i can in my medium <laughs> with my funds and with what i can do without selling so i'm contemplating selling my my laura but i love her guys i really love the way she turned out and i want to root her and keep her but that's the only baby that i can paint again because laura is an open edition so i was thinking to sell her but nothing sure just trying to i'm rooting currently uh a silicone head that is for one of my friends so what i can tell you guys i don't have the time to root any of the babies that I can sell from my vinyls because I don't want to sell any of my silicones. And because she's unique, she's open eyed, she's big, um, I don't want to sell her neither. So it's a very big dilemma. I'm trying to be good <laughs> and not buying anything, not necessary to just keep them because I don't want to sell any of my babies. But I hope you like her guys and that you enjoy to see her i really really was crazy to share with you but at the same time i didn't have the time when i was feeling the the mood and the need to come and and chat with you a little bit i was not um having the time today is raining a lot and it's not the best lighting but you know i have the time today so i i came and i just record which is super cute i hope you like her you will see her in my nursery and hopefully we can um, comb her hair and change her and chat a little bit with her she's super cute so guys thank you so much for your patience and for those who um private uh privately messaged me to know if we were okay thank you so much i really appreciate it because um you know i, I didn't notice was a lot of time that i was not recording but but yeah it happens it happens real life can be so complicated sometimes um and we have to take time to the most important things and then the rest we have to do what i can when you know we, what we can uh also i want to take the time to shout out my dear friend sherry over at riri's nursery because she did a challenge and November and was a video a day showing her entire almost entire collection and oh my gosh sis I admire you so much because you did such an amazing job showing your babies and I know people enjoy so much um, if you haven't seen please go over at Ruth's nursery she has a lot of videos showing her entire collection of almost all the babies um on november she has a challenge so she was showing a, a baby a day so she make a video daily that's amazing it takes a lot for us to make videos so i just want to to say that shout sure, out and also um say that she's so brave and i really enjoyed the challenge and guys i have been not i, I have been watching um, some channels uh, here and there while I was doing things and cooking and all that but I haven't had the time to comment on all that but um, but yeah I'm enjoying and trying to do all I, that I can to be here and there but hopefully very soon you will see why I was so lost <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching and her name that I didn't mention her name of my little Rajita is jadai she's little jadai i so i always tell her rajita because her kid name is raya so i i have a nephew that his name is ryan and we say rajito in spanish with is lighting i think <laughs> on english so she's my little rajita so i really love her and i hope you love her too so welcome baby Jadai to my nursery and see you very, very soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. You say it's hard to tell just what I'm thinking. You think it's hard to see behind my smile.
I'll say whatever you want. Let you walk in on my heart if you want to. You can ask me.